What's up? That was loud. When using hardware instruments on Ableton or Pro Tools or Logic or whatever, there's usually some latency that you have to deal with. And today I'm going to show you how to deal with it on Ableton. Here's my click track that I made. Clickety-clack. Now I'm going to create a MIDI track in order to control my Prophet 08, which is what I'm using today. And the way that I do it is, is by dropping an external instrument, as you just saw. And uh, also, make sure that your reduced latency is checked. Under Preferences, you're going to double check that your MIDI configuration is on for whatever instrument you're using. That's going to vary depending on what you're using. Also, on External Instrument, check that as well as your uh, you know, MIDI 2. And then um, make sure your output is set up to whatever your profit or your whatever synth is going through. Okay. So we have some sound here. Next, I'm going to draw some quarter notes in order to test the accuracy of the timing of the hardware instruments. Quarter notes are very easy to use as a reference for timing. So let's see. Okay, so I can already hear a little bit of a discrepancy there. Um, there's just like a little bit of latency right now because there's not many plugins and this will always vary depending on how many things you have on your session. But uh, anyways, I'm going to record the profit into uh, audio track that I just created, 5 and 6 as well. And uh, let's just see what's going on here. That's enough for our example. Next, I'm going to zoom in. Select somewhere at the beginning of a beat or a measure. And then just uh, highlight all the way. First, uh, unsnap to grid. So you can move freely. There we go. And then uh, hold shift and click you know, up until the beginning of the transient of that wave file. Next, uh, keep an eye on the, this area right here. Uh, there's a number gonna, that's going to show up right here when I select the region again, when I go to the region. Check it out. That number, it says 12. That's milliseconds, okay? And that's telling me what the latency is. So all I need to do is go back to my external instrument on Ableton that I created to control, and boom, I'm going to compensate that so 12 let's uh, test that it sounds like it's in sync and uh, let's double check that we are going to zoom in it's on baby it's snap to grid so that's how you get around hardware latency when using Ableton Live and hardware instruments.